Hi, my name is Kevin Dodd, Clemson University. I'm here to do the Library 100 video a lot right now. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the questions. Um, first question, do you feel your group achieved the true, true dialogue? Uh, I would say, yes, we did. Um, we did. Uh, everybody shared a piece of information. Everybody uh, got on pretty good. So, so a couple of things. Second, uh, so where the active voices in the dialogue. Uh, mm, yes, everybody shared their own opinion uh, and what they think, and it was actually homosexual people in the class, and so the group was very diverse. Uh, uh, second question was uh, were there more reserved voices in your dialogue um, I, I really don't understand the question reserved voices but I think well like uh, people talking uh, people holding back by reserving I guess by not talking at all so I'm gonna attempt to answer the question um, um, was that was there more reserved voices in a uh, dialogue? So, uh, I would say there were uh, there wasn't because everyone stayed vocal and talking the whole time. You know, uh, everybody shared their opinion and um, gave their thoughts about homosexual and, uh, and heterosexual. So. Everybody had their own different opinion, and we got on, uh, yeah. Well, third question was, what role did you play in your uh, group? We play uh, homosexual. Um, um, I think I was kind of crazy because it reminded me of the experience that I had back in high school. Um, this guy, he um, dressed up as a girl, and he used to um, try to play, play like he was, he was like um, another girl, and then he was like kind of homo, so it made me feel kind of awkward. But uh, yeah, uh, but we got it done. And, um, yeah. Uh, third question is, why do you think the dialogue is a component to the Lobby Hundred? Um, I really don't know why, um, but I believe it's for, uh, for, for you can, um, for the school can get rated, or um, rated or graded somehow, whatever, you know, and, uh, fourth question, do you see the dialogue as a useful tool in the university? Spence. Well, I don't think the dialogue class really got anything to do with the university. Well, we probably could see a couple, um, probably would have a couple experience here while we're here about um, homosexual, heterosexuals or something. Cause, so I do think it was useful because um, you know how to take on to homosexual people. I, I know that homosexual people they have their own type. They not just because you're another male, and they a male don't exactly mean that they like you. They have their same same type just as well. As other people do, and um, uh, um, heterosexual. And of course, you're gonna meet somebody that's different that you like if you're a straight person, and um, you might want. And if I see throughout um, my time here at Clemson, if I see a uh, um, bisexual person, I'm, I'm not just going to judge them just because they're bisexual. I just let them do the little thing, you know, let them go, let them rip. Um, well, I did this dialogue class. I learned, I learned a whole bunch of uh, uh, material. I mean, uh, I found out, you know, 
not always what you think just because they bisexual, homosexual, heterosexual. It's just part of life. All right. Nice seeing you. Bye.